What's going on, everybody? This is Travis with a spoon from Carter Cow Trading. Trade with Travis on YouTube. I hope everybody's doing very well on this Sunday morning. Uh, this is 8:15, and this is the overall trade of the week. Today's trade of the week is going to end up being on a Euro United States dollar. If you look at it, if you're a part of our overall group, our masterclass, and everything else like this, this has a 93% chance of being able to create profit for you. And almost 500 points or 500 pips in this uh, in this standpoint of being able to create a opportunity that you can be able to get into this overall week if you end up having the right setup. And let's talk about that setup as we go through. Now, a couple things before we end up getting started. Please make sure that you end up um, tapping in. If you have not, if you're not a part of our overall mailing list, make sure that you end up going to cartercalcapital.com backslash star here. Sign up for a free webinar. Once you end up signing up for a free webinar. You're a part of our mailing list and you can be able to get this. So uh, last week, what we ended up doing, we ended up hitting on the Australian dollar, United States dollar. The video will end up being in the link in the description above. Uh, in the previous video, we actually ended up making almost 150 points off of that movement based off the consolidation. Speaking of consolidation, let's go ahead and get into it. We end up taking a look at the United States dollar index. And I always try to look at this as a context about why we end up picking our overall pairs. Keep this in mind. When we look at the U.S. dollar index, we see that the United States dollar index is basically in a consolidation pattern at this particular point, and the weekly is in the sell zone. Now, typically, when you look at consolidation, the stochastic really doesn't matter because there's only two rules. You want to buy support, you want to sell at resistance. But if we're looking at this real quick, we end up seeing that this market end up rejecting very hard right around the 11,970 area. And if we take a look at what's happening off of the daily, we can end up seeing that currently right now, the weekly and the daily are basically in a sell zone perspective. Now, if they're in a sell zone perspective, then that means that the market could be able to fall down all the way down to the actual support, which was at 11,856. Well, what does that mean towards U.S. dollar payers? You should see some overall United States dollar weakness when you end up taking a look at these overall pairs. Okay, so we have that mindset. We know that overall, if we're looking at all of the United States dollar index pairs, we should at least, when we start looking at the overall pairs, start to look for weakness overall. So, what we want to be able to do is find what pair is going to end up giving us the greatest opportunity to be able to capitalize on that United States dollar weakness. In this case, if we look at all of the pairs, the best one to be able to take a look at in this case would be the Euro United States dollar. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going to move this stuff out the way uh, and give a little bit more clarification about why I end up picking this. If we look at this overall, we see that small little consolidation support area that has been hit right around uh, 1.17 uh, has been below almost 1.17, uh, 1.16, yeah, right around 1.170 uh, at this particular point. That has been your overall support. The market ended up hitting support on Friday, and then after that, starting to pop up. It hasn't broke past the counter trend line break on the weekly, but that is a good thing to be able to keep your eyes on when it comes down to this movement. We take a look at what's happening on the daily. We see that the daily has hit support, and basically, we've seen that from a consolidation level, it ended up bouncing off of basically 1.17 or 1.17 as the overall spot. What does that mean towards you? It has already corrected. It has already started making that movement. We're very close to the natural support. So when we go into today's trading and being able to take a look at this from a two-hour perspective, what we're looking for is to see if this market is going to end up giving us a little bit of a low price, start to fall right in between this area where the market end up finding some consolidation before, which is right around 1.17 as the overall resistance all the way down to 1.1750 at the overall support. I will look at being able to buy in those areas, expecting that the market will start to make that push to the upside. And then after that, from a daily D perspective, we're expecting that the market is gonna end up completing this overall D extension right around 123.65. So we're talking about over 500 pips for its overall movement at this particular point. The best part of being able to look at something that has had this major support and with us being very close to this overall major support level is that we can be able to place our stop loss a little bit more tighter and be able to have a little bit more aggressive positions. In this case, I have my stop loss before the overall position where it actually ended up starting off right around 1.170. Right now, I have my stop loss. It's going to end up being placed at 1.1690. Uh, 1.1674 as his overall spot. I think that overall, if we can be able to uh, get this to be able to fall a little bit more, we end up having less than 100 pips for its overall risk and almost 500 points for its overall reward to be able to take off at its overall position. Now, keep this in mind. This is about being patient on this overall position because we know that the United States dollar index is basically in a weekly 
consolidation. That means that it may end up moving very fast or it may end up moving very slow. And as soon as it ends up getting to that support, you may end up seeing buyers start to kick in. You should already take your profit before that actually ends up happening. I would say if you're trying to get this from a short term perspective and trying to get out, I would say looking at being able to get out of 1.18550 as your first take profit position. And then after that, being able to keep some of that position in to be able to go to the 1.90 uh, position and then all the way up to 1.23 as is overall the extension for that move. If you like what we end up doing, please make sure that you like the Carter Cow Capital Business page. Please make sure that you end up liking the Trade with Travis page on YouTube. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to that. The algorithm really likes when people end up liking and sharing that video. And hopefully this ends up making you money like our previous trades of the weeks have made you money and before. So like always, please make sure that you end up planning your trade, trading your plan. Everyone, y'all end up having a good trading week. Let's go ahead and make some money. Take it easy.